Welcome to the fastest off in town. Today we're going to start this Gittin Daf Lama Tess. We're going to begin on Lama Tess of an alpha, about six lines from the top, Lima Katanoi. So we've been discussing a situation where a person is Makdish his Evid. Now we know that a person cannot simply be Makdish your Evid as a carbon. So the question is, what was his intention? Now, according to one opinion, his intention is to let him go free as a member of Klal Yisrael. And therefore, when he said, Hamachdish Avdo, he really was saying that you're now part of Am Kadosh. You're part of a holy nation. Alternatively, maybe he still wants him to remain as an Eved. And what he was doing was he was... Of course, not representing him as a carbon, but with the May for his value. And therefore, he would still be your evidence. This was the discussion that we had in yesterday's daf and Lameka Tanoi. So maybe again, it's a machokas among Tanoim. Hamaktish Abdo. So again, what person does, as we said, Ein Moalan Bo. So according to one opinion, there's no Din Mi'ila, which apparently means it doesn't work. There is me'ila if you use his hair. So, my lab baha kamifiki. The mars have a kadosh, mars have a little kadosh. So, it must be that, again, <clears throat> if there's no din me'ila, it must be that you weren't really makdish ladamov, and therefore you were just sending him free. But tizbra, hai mu'alan bo, vein mu'alan bo, hai kadosh in kadosh me boile. If it's the same machokas tanoim, then why are we using the language of is there an iser mi'ila? Just since you said you should push it, say, is there a din of of kad of hektish? Is he kadosh? Ella de kuliyama kadosh. Really, everyone holds that he in fact is kadosh, and therefore, since there is a din kadusha, therefore he is still your slave. And again, you had the intention of the So then, what are they arguing about? There's a machlokis whether or not an evid is comparable to more like land or he has more of a din like uh, like metaltalin. So that is the, the question. And Rashi says, so just like truma, it has to be detached. Av me'ila betolish. So therefore, the only isr me'ila is if something which is detached. So therefore, if in fact we consider an evan like karka, so therefore the din is that he has, if he's considered to be like karka, so then the din is that he uh, is not going to be kaddish. So that's how we're going to answer this. It has nothing to do with this machokas tenoi. Okay, so on this, the Gemara continues and says, well, let's understand this a little bit better. If that, in fact, is the whole machokas, why are they arguing about hair? Talk about him himself. Everyone holds that Ebed is like Karka, and therefore, because of that, there's no Din Kedusha on his Guv. However, the question is, how about his hair? Over here, we have the question, when it comes to hair, in which is Oymid Ligzoyz, which is eventually going to be uh, cut off, um, is it considered like it's already cut off, even though his hair is still attached to his head. Is that, his hair, you're about to get your hair cut, is it considered mechubar? Is it attached to your body? Or is it considered tosh because it's going to be cut off anyway? And therefore, then there would be a din me'il on his hair. Marsa could goes his dam, Marsa could goes his dam. And therefore, that's what we're going to say. The whole machokas maskana is that. Question nine. Whether or not hair, let's just read what he says, question nine. Who is like his body, the Abikamakar Koidami, and an Ebed has the same din as land. 
Okay, so Lehmah Hanukkah Tanoi. Kahani Tanoi. Maybe it's in fact like this Machlokas uh, Tanoi. Okay, so on Ditnan we learn, it says, there are mer oimer yesh devarim shehim kikarka. There's certain things in which they're like land, which means they're considered like mechuber attached to the ground. The ain in kikarka, but yet sometimes they're not. Says Rashi, the kaimel and ain nishboin al karkos. We know we don't make a shmua on land. Val gafanim halolu on grapevines nishboin b'hoyda mixas ataina. So the question is, when it comes to grapevines. Are that is that considered to be mechubar or talush? Is it considered to be like part of the ground, if you will? Vein chachamim moidin loy. Chachamim disagrees. So ketzad eser gafanim teunais masartiloch. So I say that there was ten grapes. Um, there were filled filled grapes that I gave over to you uh, in order for you to watch over my land, and there was ten uh, grapevines there. You said there's only five. So now normally there's a, a din deraisa a moed mixus that if you admit to half, there's a is, there's a, a shvu deraisa that needs to be made. But again, do you make a shvu in this case because karka you don't make a shvu? So Rameir mechayv acham and moim rim. Rameir says you're chayiv, apparently because it's not like ground. Chacham and moim rim kol mechubal karka harikah karka. Anything attached to the ground is like ground. That we're talking not just about grapes that are growing, but they're literally moments before being harvested. They're ready to be detached anyway. So the question is, is it really considered to be connected to the ground? Because you're about to cut them off anyway, just like the hair. Dramer Savar, he holds, It's like you already... Remove them. So go to cut them off. Rabban and Sabi love kibbutzotas damyan. So what we want to do is we want to compare the case of the Nazir's hair to the grapes on the ground. So I feel a Rameir. I'd kind of come Hasam. Maybe the only time Rameir said his din <clears throat> regarding these grapes that you're chayiv to make a uh, shvua that the grapes are considered to be attached to the ground is only when it comes to the grapes. Because if you keep those grapes there long, then they're going to get spoiled. So you really want to cut them off. The longer the hair gets, the better, right? Nice and have nice long hair. It doesn't get worse because your hair is longer. So therefore, maybe he, he doesn't say that. So, Kisol, Rav Chibor, Rav Yosef, Oymer, Lahai Shmai, the Rav, Said over the sugya, the Rav came to Rav Yochan. I'm really like, Amar Rav Hochi, the Rav really say such a din? Did he really say such a thing? Says Rashi, bit me up. But who loy Amar Hochi? He didn't say this. We Amar Ulo Amar Rav Yochanan. We see clearly Rav Yochanan. The key words here said the following: Hamafker Abdi Yatzel Cheres. If a person takes his eved and he says, "You're ownerless," so in that situation, certainly he goes free because. He no longer owns him, but not only that, the sarf gets shichur. There is a requirement in order to be able to ha- to uh, have him completely freed. You have to give him a get shichur. Says Rashi, uparach hashas vi'i Rav Yochanan miloy amar hachi uma matama the Rav. So so hachi kamerle. So he said like this, amar Rav kivasi. Well, basically saying, does he, he does Rav hold like me? Some say this matter of Rav was not completely said over, and therefore that's the reason for this statement not being completed. Didn't Rav say you need to also, even your mafkir, your evan, you have to also write a document to free him? So in fact, yes, Rabbi Yochanan holds exactly the shita that even though you freed him, you of course, you're mafkir, he's hefker, so he goes free, but you still need to write a get shechor for him. Gufa. Omer ulo omer Rabbi Yochanan. Mafkir abdi yatzal cheres to sarket shechor. So again, you have to write this document. Eisve, is that really true? So Rav Abba asks ulo ger shemes. You have a convert who died, and Rashi explains not only that he has no yarshim. 
There's no one to inherit his things, which means the second he dies, everything he has becomes hefker. Uviz vizu Yisrael the chasub, and the Yisraelim started like plundering and taking his things because they're hefker. Bahayi behem avadim, and among the things that this Ger had, who died, he had slaves. Ben gedolim ben katanim kanu atzma bnei chayrin. So the din is that they go free. Why? Because hein kaidim in the chol adam lahachsek baatzma in a hefker. Since they're considered like Hefker, so they're able to acquire themselves, even the small ones, and they all go free. Because as soon as he died, it's Kiyu like they were Hefker, and therefore they're acquiring themselves immediately. And therefore they go free. A Godel who is Shaykh to make a Kenyan, so they're in fact, yeah, they go free. Therefore they're B'nai Chayrin. Katanim kol Matzmehen Zochemhen. Because Katanim don't have the schus to be kind of something. So therefore, because of that, they don't go free. Now the question is, Vahi mi kosav get shechel elu. Says Rashi, mi hatim Okay, I understand that you freed him because of Hefger. So therefore, because of that, um, <clears throat> because of that, the din is that he doesn't have any owners. But the question is, but if you still have to write a get, you need to have a, a, a star shechor, the star shechor is going to allow him to be able to be completely free to be able to marry Yisraelis. But who did that? So, Lechaira, this may be a right that you don't need to write a star shechor, and they, he can marry a Yisraelis even if the master who freed him didn't, or it was after him, didn't write a star shechor. And this has to be the case because the guy, the Ger just died. He didn't free him that way. He just died. So therefore, how is it shaykh to say that the Gedolim are able to go free and the Chor even marry Israelis? So Omer, so Omer, Dame Hai Midorabanan Kedoli Garmi Inchi Shmaisa. These Rabbanan, it seems like they didn't really understand the Sugi so well. But time of my, Yomar Avnachman Ksavar Ula, Avdai de Ger Kiishto. The din of din of an Eved who was his master was a convert has the same din as a woman in general. Ma ishto mishtachabul get just like a woman when her husband dies, she doesn't need a get. Her husband died, and now she can marry who uh, uh, someone else. So Af Avada Mishtachin Blow Get. So too when it comes to an Evid. The din is that when your master dies, there's a difference between your ev, your ev, you're an eved, and your soul, or he, he's he frees you. But over here, since the ger died, so it's just like a husband who died. So a husband who died, the wife goes free, and that's it. Not free. She's no longer. She's not. She's not married anymore. So she she can marry someone else. So too, this man is completely free, and now he can marry Israelis. Yehachi, if you want to c- compare this Eved to an Isha, so I feel Yisrael Nami. So we should say, says Rashi, that should also apply to Yisrael who owns an Eved, who dot in that situation. Yisrael Shemes, Nami, who Yiskubanov, his children should not inherit the servants, the Haki Ishtohim. If you want to say that an Eved is like a woman, that if the master dies, that they go completely free, and can even remarry and can marry Israelis. So then, even if why do we have to say it's a case of a ger who has no yarshim? Let's say you're talking about a yid who does have yarshim. It doesn't have to say ihachi afil Yisrael nami. It means even a, of course a ger is a Yisrael, but it just means someone who's Jewish who has yarshim. But we know that that when it comes to a Jew who has yarshim, so they will be kind of the eved when because. They acquire whatever the father owns. So Omer Kron, on that, the Pasuk says, If Yisrael dies, the Evid goes free only with a star shechor. Otherwise, the Yarshim inherit him. So in that situation, you would need a star shechor. There's no question. And if the father, the man, let's say the father, didn't write a star shechor, and then he dies, so then the children inherit them. But over here, we're talking about where there are no no heirs. So Yehachi, Hamafker Avdo, let's say a person frees his servant, Umes, and the master dies, Nami. The fact is that since he died afterwards, 
that should also allow that he shouldn't he should be able to marry Israel's. But this very situation, also Evan in Lo Takana. He has no remedy. So the Amemer Kasha. So on Amemer attack it's a question. Because Lukhar, you should say that once the master died, so then he should be able to also marry Israel's. But according to a member, he's saying that this person's like in a status of limbo. You're free, so now you can't be married to a Shekh Kananis, but you can't marry Israelis because you didn't get a Shtar Shekhar. Am Rav Yaakov Bar Edi, Am Rav Yishom Ben Levi, Halacha Kabashol. The Halacha, in fact, is like Abashol that says that Gedoyim, in the case of a Ger, uh, adult Eved is free because they're kind to themselves, but not Katana. That is the Halacha as it's stated here. Amelie Rav Zeo, Rav Yaakov, Baridi, as we continue to Lama Testament Beis, Beferish explicitly, Shemia Ulach, or Machlol Shemia Ulach. The fact, um, was it explicitly heard from your Yeshua and Levi, or was it some type of uh, way that you deduced it? So my Chlol of the Yom Yom and Levi, what was the general rule, Omru, with Nei Rebbe, Omar, in front of Rebbe, he said, The person says, I've given up all hope of ever finding my, or uh, my, my Eved, or as Rashi just explains, not that he's lost, but Lushen Hefkerhu. This, when you're Miyayish, when you give up hope, you're basically saying it's orderless. So the question is, Mahu, what is the din in that situation? Is that language strong enough that he's free and therefore, he, and that he would be able to marry Israelis. So, Mohen, Oymar and I say, Enotakana. In that situation, there's no remedy. He's not allowed to marry Abbas Israel because no no star was written and he no longer can be with a Shimcha because he was freed a little bit. So, it's like the status of limbo. So, therefore, Enotakana, El star. Again, he needs a star Shechor to be able to marry Israelis. Why does Rebbe require it? So he learns out from a woman, from a wife. So when the woman, if let's say her husband just wants her to, to marry someone else, and the husband's alive, he has to give her a get. So to over here, if the Evid is your Miyayish, your Miyayish and your wife, but you're alive, you have to give her a get, whatever Yish would mean in that case. So it's the same thing over here. Uh, the Evid still needs to get Shechor. And we can make an inference from here, says Rashi. Since he learns out from a woman, it must be talking about an adult. Someone who's able to acquire things. So therefore, my Isha, Isha, Isura, Vulomamoina. So just like when it comes to a woman, we're dealing with Isser and not monetary issues, says Rashi. Shemafkiru inu alav el Isser. Of a little moment ki isha zu shiget shala inu bul hafkia mamon shi shaleha el Isser. We know a get has nothing to do with any monetary issues. That's the ksuba and other things. It has nothing to do with a get. A get has to do with Isser. So af evinami isura bul mamoina. So too, when it comes to the Eved, it's talking about Isser, has nothing to do with money. So therefore, the, that is the Diak. And it says Rashi, Avul Be'eved, let's continue this Rashi, Avul Be'eved Katan, Lo Iri Rebbe. Rebbe's not talking about an Eved who's a little kid. Dolav Dumidi Ishahu, it's not comparable to a woman. Diikah Doror de Mamoinale, because there's also Doror de Mamoina, because a person. Um, he still has value because you could you could acquire him. Says Rashi, "V'didei svirule diyesh lo takana b'shimcha the lo kana atzma b'hefker v'lo v'lo mamon." So if e mechlo amai, if you want to talk and tell me it's through some deduction that the question. So, so says Rashi, "B'feirish o mechlo amale ad Rebbe." So he made a diak on the other side. You can actually say it the other way around. So it's not necessarily beferish. 
because maybe you could say, well, just like a woman, we know that there's a get, it doesn't matter if she's young or an adult, right? She's still mutter with a get. So too, when you're mocked, your Evid, also it could be referring to a katan also, just like a woman. So therefore you can look at it that way as well. So he said explicitly, it was heard to me, Actually, that it's not that the only the adult go Evid goes free, but even the cop Again, similar dialogue over here. Um, was it explicit or implicit? Or or is it uh, through deduction? So my my what would be the way to maybe figure it out? The person wants to be mafkir his evid using language of Yush. Again, as we said, Mahu. What's the din? Does he completely go free and marry Israel? Some of him, I say, There's no remedy except for the star. Until you write a star, this person is not allowed to marry Israel. Why does Rabbi say you need a star? Because you want to free your wife, you need to give her a get. So, too, if you want to free your Evan to be able to marry Israel, he needs a star. I have a Kodak me not. And we made this dia kiisha ma isha ben gadol ben katano. So af ebenami ben gadol ben katan. A woman you can divorce a woman doesn't matter if it's an adult or a woman who could be married as a katana. Also, she's uh, divorced. So too, when it comes to an evid, even a katan will be removed. The mai. So if you tell me it's a, as we said, it's it's inference. What do you mean? It sounds pretty explicit. Because maybe you could say the other way around. It's not necessarily explicit. Because Adaraba, Daik Mino Haki, so you could look at it the other way. Maybe it's only talking about a gadol. Because by a gadol, when it comes to a, when it comes to a woman, the get is only Isser, has nothing to do with money. So too, when it comes to an Evid, it's not, when it's only Isser and not money, as, expo- as opposed to a Kapa. Arma Befer Shmi Elisa said it was actually explicitly said to me. There's no takana, you need to give him a star. He says they can even give the deme atzmo the his monetary uh, value. They can go because he's like he was he was sold to him. So it doesn't sound like you need a star. So Hachikamer, oh bekesev, oh b'shtar. What I really meant to say is you can, that the kan of the Eved could be done in either way. It doesn't have to be a star. You can actually use kesev and purchase him, and that would be a purchase himself. More Kedushin talks about how he does that, etc. Vahay pakule kasba. And as Rashi says, pakule kasba mi ata ino takan el b'shtar. Bahai the Afgare, the one who is Mafgared, so the fact that no longer there's Kesef involved, so therefore, because he was Hefger, so since he's Hefger, he's not being purchasing himself because he's, he's ownerless, so therefore, in that situation, you need a star. So again, in a situation where you, he purchased himself so that it would work, you wouldn't need a star. However, if he's being your Mafger, Evan, you would need a star because there's no Kesef involved. That excludes the following opinion. Um, that which we said, then Evid is freed even with Kesef. The Sanya. Rebbe Lushimon Oyim Remishim Rebbe Akiva Yochli He Kesef Gamarba Kedar Shashtar Gamarba. You would think that Kesef actually would free him completely, just like a star Shechor. Tamlom Rebbe Hefte Lo Nif Dasa. So the Pasuk is telling us that regarding the Padilla, he's being redeemed and not redeemed. This is referring to uh, the entire parsha where you free her with a star. So that parsha is talking about where the star was given. So we see from this pasuk that only a star is acceptable, not kesef. And if you do get redeemed with kesef, you still need a star. In fact, as Rav Shimon, that Kesef is cannot be Gomer Ba. Rav Yosef Bar Chama Rav Yochan in Alach Rav Shimon that again just Kesef alone would work. 
Ashka Rav Nachman of Yitzchak he found uh, uh, he found him who's Bar Shielta the Havi Koi a Pischa the the Beit Tefila he was standing by the entrance way of the Tefila or Mali Halacha in Halacha he wanted to know what was the din is the Halacha like do, can you be freed with Kesef alone or Mali Ani Omer ain Halacha I say the Halacha is not like him but Rabbanon the Asim and Mochayza Omeri uh, they said, So I say no, they say yes. When I go to Surah, I found Rav Chia Baravan. So Amrulay, and he said, He said, uh, Explain to me exactly what the situation was. Amrulay, there was a woman, there was a maidservant who was, again, she was a slave. Dahavi Mara Shimira and her master was dying. So Asabachia Kame. So when she was crying, Armule, so he said to her, he said to her, Ad Mosai Mishtabid Vitezalahi Isaso. Until when are you going to continue to be uh enslaved? So Shokal Kumte, so he took a hat. Uh, Shadaba and threw it toward her. Armula zil kani ha u kani nashach. Be kind of the hat, and then you'll be kind of yourself. Also, can made Rav Nachman Armula who will also look cool. It looked like a nice way of freeing her, but unfortunately it didn't work. So man the chaza sabr mishum the halach and Rav Shimon. We thought maybe the halachas are Rav Shimon that that hat, which is like shavik kesef, that's not enough because you need still a star. So Velohi has nothing to do with what we're talking about. The problem was that the Kaili belonged to the Makna. So only with so we again we thought, oh maybe with a star. The answer is no. It needed to be her hat, not the master's hat, for Kenyan Khalipin to work. So that was the issue. Amrav Shmuel Bar Achisoi. Um Rab Hamnuna Saba Oim Rab Yitzchak Bar Ashian Oim Rab Huna Oim Rab Hamnuna Halach Rab Shimon The Halach is like Rab Shimon Vlohi Ein Halach Rab Shimon. Which again, we're going to stop here. That whether or not a star is necessary when you is or we already did some type of Kenyan Kesef or in this case maybe a Kenyan Chalipin. So that is still up to debate. But again, according to the end, we're saying the Halacha is not like Rab Shimon that Kesef. Will complete it. Question ten as well as TB eight. Hai is he a mata? So there was this uh, woman. There was this maid servant. Davi Marsh Kimir who's dying. So Kumta took a hat, his hat, and Shadabon threw it at toward her for some type of chaliv, and it didn't work. So he said, Madulo asakum having maskana. Why does it not work? So in the Havamino, we thought Lossaklum Hateru Yisrael that she's not allowed to now marry Israel, even though she's seemingly freed, like Rev Shimon. Then Misyarta El Ashtar. She's only going to be mutter and freed to be able to marry Israel only if the Star Sheikh was written. So we said not necessarily. The problem is the Havi Khalip and the Caleb Shil Makna. We come along to be Caleb Shil Kaina. So it had to be that it was hers. And the fact that they used his, then it became an issue. In order to be able to do chalipin, you must be the owner of the item, and then you give over that item to the other person. So the woman needed to have something of her own to be able to give to him, and that, and then that exchange would have caused the chalipin to have worked. Okay, let's look at one more question. TA7. Okay. Gershemes. So you have this convert who died. As we saw, and the leftover little kids. So it was a machlokis uh, who were avadim. So it was a machlokis avashon or abanan. If they if they go free, um, these katana because they're kids. So mavor begemar sheish oif and lefarish to plague you the drasha de la la miisha. Maybe we could compare it to a woman. So, do we say they go free or not? So, based on that. So, according to the Rabbanon, they go free because like a woman, 
We know a woman, she goes free with Misa Sabal when her husband dies. And even if she's a, the, the married woman is a katana, so too an Evit Katan will go free when the master dies. Abishol says no, because when it comes to woman, the get itself is only, is only an iser. It doesn't have anything to do with monetary things. Yatsas Mamisa Av Evid Kotan Ika Gabe Gamamoina de Ain Lo Yad Lo Sakas Paatsmo because he doesn't have the ability to be kind to himself, so there's also an issue of mamon over here, and therefore because of that we will say that this Evid Kotan may in fact not be able to be kind to himself, and therefore anyone who comes after the Ger died will be able to be kinda the Evid Kotan. Adkan.